When Sony first unveiled the FX3 in early 2021, it stood as a bold blend of mirrorless versatility and cinema-grade performance. Designed as a compact solution for filmmakers, it quickly earned popularity among solo creators, documentarians, wedding videographers, and travel filmmakers who needed lightweight gear without sacrificing image quality. With its 12.1 MP full-frame sensor, S-Cinetone color science, and impressive low-light performance, the FX3 filled a niche perfectly, offering portability with pro-level results. Still, the FX3 wasn't without shortcomings. Filmmakers often cited the lack of internal RAW recording and absence of open-gate functionality, features available in competing cameras from brands like Panasonic and Fujifilm. Now, fast forward to 2025, and Sony is preparing to release its much-anticipated successor, the Sony FX3 Mark II. If early reports are accurate, this upgrade could resolve the original model's biggest limitations, while pushing the compact cinema category even further. One of the most exciting enhancements expected in the FX3 Mark II is open gate recording. This feature enables three, two full sensor readout, allowing filmmakers to capture video using the entire sensor area. Why does that matter? Because it gives creators more flexibility in post-production, whether they're cropping for ultra-wide cinematic aspect ratios or reframing for vertical content like TikTok and Instagram Reels. Instead of recording multiple takes in different orientations or resolutions, one open gate master file can be tailored for every platform. For content creators who frequently switch between web social and traditional formats, this functionality is a massive time saver and a future proofing tool. Another long-awaited feature is internal 12-bit raw video recording. The original FX3 required external recorders via HDMI for raw capture, which added cost, bulk, and complexity to shoots. With the FX3 Mark II, all that rich, uncompressed image data will reportedly be recorded internally, no cables, no external monitors, and no compromises. This opens the door to professional level grading, expanded dynamic range, and smooth tonal transitions, all within a compact camera body. Whether you're shooting for a client, a festival submission, or your own cinematic masterpiece, this upgrade provides a tremendous leap in creative flexibility. To appreciate these additions, let's unpack what makes RAW and open gates so powerful. RAW video is essentially unprocessed data straight from the sensor. Unlike compressed codecs like H264 or H265, RAW preserves far more detail in shadows, highlights, and color gradients. With 12-bit color depth, the FX3 Mark II will allow colorists to push their footage further, whether applying film-style loots or correcting exposure mishaps in post. OpenGate, meanwhile, is all about maximizing framing options. Because it uses the entire sensor, filmmakers get a larger image canvas to crop, recompose, and adapt their shots without quality loss. Want to shoot a documentary in widescreen, but also pull vertical shots for social media? OpenGate makes that easy, ensuring your footage works across every screen, from smartphones to theater projectors. While the FX3 Mark II is bringing powerful new tools to the table, it's also expected to retain the beloved features that made the original such a hit. Sony's real-time autofocus, borrowed from the Alpha mirrorless lineup, will almost certainly return, and with some improvements. Expect enhanced IAF, better subject tracking, and AI-assisted detection that loss onto people, animals, and even fast-moving objects with surgical precision. For solo filmmakers, this is crucial. You don't always have a crew or a focus puller. With Sony's AF technology, you can trust the camera to track your subject accurately, even when you're moving handheld or following unpredictable motion. Speed is another area where Sony typically excels. Like its predecessor, the FX3 Mark II is expected to offer minimal rolling shutter, fast boot-up times, and low latency controls, all key traits when shooting dynamic content in real time. Whether it's an interview, a fast-paced documentary scene, or a wedding ceremony, the camera should respond immediately to your creative impulses. One known issue with the original FX3 was heat buildup during extended 4K shooting. While the FX3 featured active cooling via a built-in fan, high frame rate or raw recording could still cause thermal throttling in certain conditions. With the Mark II now expected to support internal raw and open gate 6K recording, 
efficient thermal management becomes even more critical. While early rumors hint at a redesigned fanless or quieter passive cooling system, it remains to be seen how Sony will tackle the heat issue. If the FX3 Mark II can offer long, uninterrupted recording without overheating, it will gain a huge edge in both indie film sets and remote run and gun scenarios. The FX3 Mark II is expected to continue using dual card slots, CFX Plus Type A and UHS 2 ASD. This hybrid setup provides flexibility depending on your budget and media availability. However, there are trade offs. CFX Plus cards are faster but expensive, while SD cards are more accessible but may not support high bitrate RAW formats. Hopefully, Sony will improve buffer handling and allow redundant or split recording across both cards to make the transition easier for creators not fully committed to CFX Plus yet. Sony seems likely to retain the 12.1MP full-frame sensor, and that's actually a good thing. While the resolution may seem low by modern still standards, this sensor is optimized for video performance, particularly in low-light situations. It keeps file sizes manageable while delivering clean footage with excellent dynamic range. Also returning is s Cinetone, Sony's cinema-inspired color science. It's known for its natural skin tones, soft highlights, and a film-like look right out of the camera. This is ideal for creators who want great color without needing to dive deep into post-production grading. The compact body design, with multiple mounting points, an XLR audio handle, and easy access controls, will also stick around. This form factor is one of the FX3's most beloved traits. No need for cages or rigs just to get started. Whether you're shooting from a car, a drone, or your shoulder, the FX3 Mark II promises to stay ready to shoot straight from the box. Two important areas remain unknown. Battery life and price. The original FX3's battery life was acceptable, but not outstanding, especially when shooting at high frame rates or using external monitors. If Sony can enhance efficiency or offer a higher capacity battery, it would greatly benefit field shooters who don't always have access to charging stations. As for pricing, Sony walks a tightrope. Add too many features, and the camera risks entering the FX6's pricing territory. But strip too much away, and it may not justify an upgrade. For the FX3 Mark II to succeed, it needs to balance performance and affordability, ideally coming in under $4,000 for the body. In summary, the Sony FX3 Mark II is shaping up to be a serious upgrade that thoughtfully addresses user feedback. With internal 12-bit RAW, open gate 3, two recording, refined autofocus, and a body design built for real-world use, it bridges the gap between mirrorless ease and cinema power. While challenges like thermal control, battery performance, and media costs remain to be seen, the overall package looks incredibly promising. If Sony nails the final specs, and keeps pricing within reach, the FX3 Mark II could easily become the new favorite for a wide range of creators. From cinematic YouTube content to indie documentaries and wedding films, the FX3 Mark II offers the performance and reliability today's hybrid shooters demand. It's more than just a second-generation upgrade, it's Sony's statement that the compact cinema category is here to stay and evolve.